Welcome back everyone. Today I got a video for you guys showing you some of Dying Light's many and brilliant easter eggs. This is the first part in a series of videos where I'll show you each easter egg and where to find it. Let's get right into it shall we? Starting off with uh, maybe not the best easter egg in the world, but a tribute. A tribute to the writer and director George A. Romero. For many he is considered as the father of zombies, most known for his movies Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead, to just name a few. After his death in 2017, Techland decided to make a tribute to George. Uh, as shown in the video, in the slums, under one of the bridges as shown on the map, you will be able to find a painting of George A. Romero, with one text that reads, Father of Zombies, and another one that reads, He Won't Stay Dead. Next up, we have an easter egg to the very popular zombie game, Left 4 Dead, that is developed by Valve. If you leave the tower, you will find this easter egg right before you reach the very first safe zone you unlock in the game. As shown in the video, over this store you will be able to find a sign that reads Left 4 Bread, a reference to the Left 4 Dead series. Then we got a reference to the Legend of Zelda series. At multiple locations in the game you will be able to find the Master Sword. The first time is during the main quest The Saviors, where you can see a young boy waving around the sword. Later you can also find it at the formal daycare center Magic Fortress in Old Town. Finally, after this you will be able to find this sword at your easter egg collection in your room at the tower, hanging from the wall. The next easter egg, in addition to being a very well known reference, is also the location of a blueprint. At the lower right corner of the slums, you can swim to this small and lonely island. Here you will find the Excalibur, or as it's called in the game, EXP Caliber. Being a clear reference to the classical story about King Arthur pulling the sword Excalibur out of solid stone. When you've reached the island, you will find a sword sticking up from this zombie's corpse. After a while, you will be able to pull the sword out and it will enter your library. Then the body will start burning, and after a good while the body will disappear and in its place on the rock you will find a blueprint. This will allow you to craft EXP caliber swords yourself. Next up we got a reference to the western themed first person shooter Call of Juarez. This easter egg is actually part of the side quest Gunslinger. There's actually a game called Gunslinger released in 2013. This game was developed by Techland who also happens to be the developers of Dying Light. During this quest you will be asked to go to the pawn shop and retrieve a collectible character which also happens to be the main face of the series. Once you've collected the figure, you can also find the figure in your room at the tower at your easter egg collection. Here you will also be able to interact with the figure and get a couple of voice lines. First impressions are always the most important. <laughs> Let's just say that was a Yankee. The last easter egg in today's video is the very funny Plants vs Zombies easter egg. To find this easter egg, you need to re-enter the area which you enter during the main story quest broadcast. To do this, you need to go to the top of the slums. At this safe zone at the top of the bridge, you will find a door. Once you have entered the area, you can run straight through until you reach the other side. Here you will make your way over the bridge up the hill and you will climb the biggest antenna. Once you reach the top, there are two zip lines you can take. One that will kind of take you back the way you came, and one that goes further into the map, into a canyon of sorts. Take this zip line, and right when that zip line ends, you take another zip line.
When you have a ride, you go to the right. Very careful not to jump down and try to reach this flower. Once you interact with it, you will be teleported to this new area, and if you ever played Plants vs Zombies, you might find things familiar. On the left you will see rows of plants defending from the waves of zombies coming from the right. And after a while you will start to see different types of zombies spawning. Once you feel satisfied and you want to leave the area, just interact with this door at the house. That will be all the easter eggs for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what your favorite easter egg is, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.